Hello everyone. As many of you know, I am a Minister of Spirituality certified. There's my paper on the wall. <laughs> I am also a teacher of self-love, clear boundaries, and how to heal our inner traumas, large and small. I also have a new regression therapy that I am offering for a very inexpensive price because I truly do want to heal the world one soul at a time. Um, I'm also a psychic medium, an herbal specialist, and an intuitive tarot reader. I offer extended readings for the tarot on my website, as well as herbal guidance um, and regimens, and so many more categories of service to help you heal mind, body, and soul. So if you are interested in any of my services, please visit www.earthsonglovecraft.com, which will be below in the description box. Um, we also have a completely censorship free forum that is free to join on the website. And I also have a store that you can shop at. We have new content that is being added very, very soon. Um, I'm really excited about a lot of the products that we're getting ready to put up that are all made by me and blessed by me through the alchemical process. These are not things that I purchase from somewhere else and then turn around and sell to you. They will be made specifically for uh, my purposes of healing and guidance and protection that are necessary for all of us. If you would like something special made, you can also put in a request for that. I am very easily available at my email address that is on the website and in all of my links to my videos. Um, so please feel free to do that. Reach out to me if you want something that is tailor-made specific for your needs. And as always, I am very thankful for all of the subscribers to my YouTube channel and my podcast, uh, my social media groups, etc. And I am even more grateful to truly be able to assist and help you to learn who you are and free yourself and take these shackles off. I truly do hold the keys. I truly am the light that can lead you home to self and give you the freedom and the joy that you deserve in life. And with that, I send you many blessings of love and light. And I look forward to working with you for many months and years to come. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi Leo, this is your reading for the week of December 18th to the 24th. Now in this reading, I'm going to begin with a general. Then we are going to move on to your love and your career. At the end, we will close with messages and guidance from Spirit. This will be in three parts. Timestamp, if you would like to jump forward to any particular area. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Guardian Angels, please help me to show Leo clearly what they can expect for the week of December 18th to 24th. Leo. Love it. Okay. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the honeybee that says for you to bask in the sun, the joy, and the light. This is essentially the sun card, which is your energy in traditional tarot. Hmm. Interesting. I love this. Okay. Let me move that out of my way these up and then I'm going to show you these cards so you're being advised in this is your general you're being advised to be the warrior and be fearless and stand strong to unlock the magic within you to transform and unveil 
your gifts. Honor your inner knowing. This is the medicine woman energy. This is the shaman experience. Let go of the need to be right, but also stand your ground. Wait for important information. And while you wait, simply retreat and recharge. I feel like a lot of you have been working too hard. Um, and it's time to just take a moment and pause and just breathe and wait. Spirit's going to show you where to go next. Okay. And in the meantime, honor that inner knowing that you have. Truly unlock that magic that is within you. Be fearless and strong about it. Stand strong. I mean, you have two cards here of standing strong, right? Two cards of standing strong. And allow the transformation to happen. Allow the shape shifting of who you are truly to come out and be shown into the world in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Anything else here? Anything else for the video? Thank you. Anything else? Bottom of the deck, you have the two of pentacles. Okay, yeah, the Four of Swords is about resting. You need rest. So, you have the High Priestess, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. So clearly you've been working too hard. That's the first thing I see in your general energy. But I also see that whatever you've been working hard towards, you're going to finally get your full cup, if you will. Okay, you're going to get your um, recognition. You're going to get your acknowledgments for the work that you've put in. And you're standing in this high priestess energy, which goes back to standing in your full power, standing your ground, using your intuition, trusting your inner knowledge to guide you and navigate you through the mundane, the daily world your workplace, whatever, right? Relationships of all kinds, whether it's with employees or um, employers, uh, friends, relatives, whoever. You're trusting in your intuition and you're going to get rewarded for this. You're going to get acknowledged for this intuition being incorporated into your mundane life and not working harder, but working smarter because you're trusting that intuition. And it's going to pay off for you. Seven of Pentacles is about uh, finally seeing the fruits of your labor, right? Finally getting your harvest. And it's in the upright, which is the energy of, you know, confidence. You can, you can sit or walk in confidence that this is actually going to take place for you. So just trust that. And in the meantime, just rest, because I think you need some rest, okay? It's time to just rest and be patient and sit in that confidence and that knowing that it is coming in for you. Your ships are coming in. And even if this is, uh, you know, has something to do with love, and we'll clarify that when we get to the love portion of the reading. 
For some of you, this could be work, and then of others, this could be love. It could be both, really, even. So we'll see as we clarify on further. This is just your uh, general. And with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I really feel like um, you definitely have options. You have two different directions you can go. Yep. As I say that, the Ace of uh, Swords falls out, which is the promise of new beginnings. This toxic energy was upside down, meaning you're ending this toxic energy that's been going on in your in your life. Um, and that can mean a whole host of things. That could mean that you have some kind of toxic energy. Perhaps you have an addiction to something that you need to put an end to. Perhaps you have a codependent relationship with someone or some kind of a toxic relationship. With someone where it's you know in and out volatile different things and you're breaking those ties right you're reaching for the light in this picture you're reaching for the light in the window you want out of it you want to be spared you also have the four of pinnacles in reverse and the four of pinnacles that's in the upright it's speaking of clinging to things could be money could be love they're both a, a type of resource but it's in the reverse. So it's saying that you're letting go. You're letting go and you're letting it flow. And whatever happens, happens. And you're walking in that trust as you rest. Because you know there's new beginnings coming for you. Yeah. Walking in your Empress energy. And look, there's your card right underneath of it. Strength. The Leo card. Yeah. You're, you're going to make sure your cups are full. And then at the bottom of the deck here, you have the lover's card, which is about unions. This is about soulmates. This is about uh, true relationships, true companionship, uh, equal give and take, which is also what the Six of Pentacles represents, is equal give and take. You know, getting your recognition for the work you put in to something. Um, and, and that person seeing, you know, who you are, right? This person is actually seeing you for who you truly are and you're getting, you're getting your due payment for it. So in a lot of ways, this is karmic. So I look forward to getting into the rest of your reading. You've got the Ace of Wands underneath that and the Sun card and Temperance. I mean, yeah, this is all about, and the Page of Wands, which is also the energy of uh, new offers, new beginnings. I feel like you're really moving into your own uh, internally. And that's why you're being blessed now externally. Not just that you've put in the hard work in the real world, but you've also put in some hard work internally. And, um, you know, God is seeing that and God is blessing you for that now. You're, you're getting your payment for that. Okay, so I'm just going to move some of these cards out of my way. And then we're going to pull your uh, emotional energy. Let's see where your emotions are going to be at for the week of December 18th to the 24th. Where are Leo's emotions going to be, please, Spirit? What kind of mood is Leo going to be in? And I mean that in a loving way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, you're allowing that vulnerability. Because you're emerging like the dragonfly. You are emerging and embracing who you really are. This is ancestral. You're realizing that you're from a bloodline that's very powerful, very important. And not that... I don't want to say it like that and, and make anyone feel prideful in a egotistical, boastful type of way because all bloodlines are important, of course. But there's something really unique about your bloodline, your family lineage. Um, perhaps 
lots of people in your family are psychic, right? So you're going with the ebb and the flow, just like I said in the in the other part, right? This is the energy you're going to be in, trusting it, and and having the vigilance and the knowing that completion is coming. This is full moon energy. This is a completion. Whatever this toxic bullshit was, it's coming to an end. And you have this, I hear reprieve. I keep hearing the word reprieve. You're finally getting your reprieve. You're finally getting that, <sighs> it's over, kind of breath, right? And that's really good news. Really, really good news. Okay, let me pull. These cards straight here for you. Real quick before we end the general reading section. Okay. Yeah, inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. And you're learning that vibration your vibration is being right raised to higher levels and you are knowing now that you are connected to a cosmic intelligence then you have gaia gaia is the connection to the pulse of mother earth she will guide you through this time of change just trust that free spirit to be a free spirit is to float without walls to fly without judgment and to love without condition I love that. And Starseed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. Leo, you are the sun card. You are the epitome of loving light. If anybody can blast their beacon out there the largest, it would be you because you roar. And yes, Leo, a lot of you are Starseed. You were here for this moment in time. It's time for you to wake up. And I see gratitude on the bottom of this deck. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Be grateful for the visions you're having. Be grateful for the experiences you're having. Say your gratitudes. Because the more grateful you are for the things you have that are nice and good and happy and light about your life, the more grateful you are for those things, the more you bring in of that type of energy. Because we bring more of what we focus on the most, right? So just focus on that as you rest. Rest. And recuperate. Because your reprieve is coming. Okay? So that's the end of the general. And now we are going to begin with your uh, career reading. Spirits, guides, angels, and the Holy Spirit. Please help to guide Leo in their career for December 18th to the 24th. interesting that you would get the seven of cups because I was just looking you have the queen of cups the six of cups and now you've got the seven of cups and I was looking at the six of cups which typically is about um twin flame soulmate type energy but since this is for career I was thinking you know this is about finding that perfect job right being in that perfect job that makes your heart sing right um you've got a lot of love energy here so I mean, this could have something to do with a Cancerian, but it doesn't have to. This could really just simply, simply but beautifully and deeply be about you being in your heart space 
with the work that you do or that is coming to you because the seven of cups is about having choices it's about having options and then you have the seven of uh, swords yeah the seven of swords that came out sideways which tells me that there was toxic energy in your life very recently maybe still is and it's just now moving out and that's why it's sideways because this liar cheater thief toxic energy whatever it was this person that you know snuck around doing things behind your back is finally moving out of your energy and getting out of your way and clearly they have something to do with your uh work you know this is somebody that you work with that's been in your way it's keeping you from being fully happy in whatever you're doing or from moving forward to find the happiness that you desire i feel like there's a hair hanging on my face the magician magic is alive in your life what you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it you can do it it's like my tattoo says guys just believe just believe believe in yourself believe in the universe believe in god that have your back and that you are getting the reprieve that you deserve that was the king of cups that just fell on the floor and yeah you've been working hard that keeps coming up you need to chill and rest <clears throat> you're working too hard too many hours too many days doing trying to do too much while you're at work not letting enough people you know delegate your authorities appropriately right delegate your authorities have somebody help you be creative and this particular king of cups you've got the king and the queen of cups plus the soulmate card the six of cups which is perfect union and and offers opportunities so i feel like like you may or may not love where you're at right now but there's some kind of an offer for a new job a new way to work and earn money that's being uh, offered to you that's being brought to you see this this boy in this picture is offering her a flower he has a gift for her and then the very next card is the seven of cups which is all of your cups are full of possibilities and opportunities you know and oh and with the seven of swords being on its side and then the magician over here i feel like okay two things i'm getting here one i'm getting that you are actually like manifesting this yourself and two that this whatever this option is whatever this opportunity is will move you past whoever this bullshit toxic energy is regardless of what their decision in the matter is so this will catapult you right past them so either way basically either way what i'm saying is this moves out whether you're manifesting it to move forward or some new offer comes in that moves you forward and it, that even can be both i just heard that that could be both that you're manifesting something new maybe like without a clear picture of what that should be and so spirit is sending someone your direction that's making you an offer that's moving you into new energy that's going to fulfill you completely fulfill you and whatever this is it's definitely going to be a partnership that is a, a beautiful bond a good bond a strong bond this is soulmate energy this is soul family energy you know this is someone you can count on and trust with your eyes closed completely and yes because you have so many cups in this reading it absolutely could be a water sign which would be cancer scorpio or pisces okay uh, i'm feeling strong cancerian energy just because of the king and queen of cups but uh, it, it can be any of the three water signs or it could just be also with the magician and you being the high priestess and tapping into your own knowing it could also very well be that you're tapping into um, your love energy, your abilities to create and manifest 
through love, just as the little um, starseed oracle cards said. Okay, so we're going to clarify. We'll get into this deeper and clarify it. But before I clarify it, I need to pull these cards. These are my planet signs and houses cards. And I don't use them very often, but I decided to start incorporating them into the career portion of the tarot reads because they really do help to gain insight and clarity uh, pr predominantly in the career sectors. Okay, so this one says your beliefs and the cost of those beliefs. What has that costed you? Uh, use the most direct way to move forward. This is you being in that, you know, that bold Leo energy of uh, bravely forging your path. Um, your feelings, your attitude about past situations and using your intuition to move yourself out of that energy. And again, that's Cancerian energy in that card. And then the next card is uh, Resurrect. Get to the heart of the matter. It, this is a do or die type decision that you must make. This is Pluto energy. And that's interesting. And this is something, whatever this offer is or this position that you're in now, it is going to be a full-time job that you're going to do a little at a time until it builds into something big. And it says serving. So I feel like you're getting, this is the sixth house. This is about love. Again, this is water energy. The sixth house is about family, home, um, being loving, being nurturing, um, building a, a safe haven type of situation. So I feel like for a lot of you, this whatever this new position coming in is, it's going to be in service to others. Most definitely, it's going to be in the service industry, but it's going to be in um, a heart-based, a heart-centered type of serving, if that makes sense to you. Maybe by tapping into your intuition and trusting that. The magic that lives within you is going to start presenting itself in the form of being a healer. Perhaps that's what your lineage is about. Your family is uh, a family of healers. You know, not just necessarily psychic, but, you know, they have a healing ability to them. I'm going to pull your spirit totem animals. This will help to guide you in um, what's coming. Oh, you got the golden egg. <gasps> that's amazing. Somebody else got that in their reading. I don't remember who that was. Gemini, maybe? Gemini's been coming up and everybody sucks. You have the B energy. Did I pull that B for you in your general? I think I did. Okay, so you have the oyster, the swan, the phoenix, the butterfly, the moth, the camel, and the earthworm. Oh, and the lamb, of course, with the golden egg. Alright, so we're going to talk about this golden egg first. And you all know the tale of the golden goose egg, right? So this is this is spirit's way of promising you something really, really beautiful is coming your way, and you need to trust that that's coming your way. Totally trust that. Totally believe in that and have faith in that. Okay, because this golden egg coming out is very, very rare. Then you have the lamb. And a lot of people would think of like the sacrificial lamb or whatever, but that's not really the case. The lamb is like the meek inheriting the earth kind of energy, right? This is Christ consciousness. 
This is you leveling up. This is you learning who you are and discovering a new path. The moth is representative of death, which is the endings for new beginnings to, to, you know, to make room for the new beginnings. This is also the Luna Moth on this card, which is about seeing things that were once hidden from you, right? Uh, moon energy, things that were hidden are now seen. So this could mean in your outward world and in your internal world. And again, you know, like I was saying, maybe you discover that you're actually a healer or something, or you're more psychic than you gave yourself credit for. And then the butterfly and the phoenix are essentially the same card. We know this. This is you leveling up. This is you embracing all of who you are. Same thing with the oyster. You're that pearl inside that oyster that's been, I want to say fermenting, but that's not the right word. <laughs> Uh, you've been growing <laughs> internally and waiting to come out of your shell and, you know, show your beautiful self like the swan. But you're not that ugly duckling that you thought you were or that other people perceived you to be, perhaps. You are the actual, you're the beautiful swan. And the camel, the camel is someone, this is going to sound funny, but to me, the camel is someone who knows how to drink up life in a very beneficial way to where it's lasting right to where you're sus it's sustainable and this is what you want from your career you want something that is sustainable so i feel like god is saying to trust that you are being led to something that's going to be sustainable and then the earthworm is like the ouroboros or the phoenix or the butterfly right it's the continuation of the of the cycle earthworms are the um recyclers of the dirt they churn the dirt right they turn it over they till it make it fresh make it new um they take the old and turn it into something new so these are all beautiful um spirit totem energies that you're going to be walking in i feel like for the week of December 18th to the 24th, you're going to be really walking in that energy of feeling that confidence to move forward and just let whatever happens happen. You're just going to go with the flow, which is awesome. Okay, so before we get to those, I want to pull some clarifiers on what these options may be. So Spirit, show me what the options in front of Leo look like? What do these options look like? And then we're going to clarify this uh, Seven of Swords on its side. <coughs> and maybe the... I mean, you've got the King and the Queen of Cups here. That's like a perfect match to go right along with that Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Soul family energy. I mean, this is a career reading, so this is not really about relationships. In the, you know, uh, intimate uh, sort of way. Not, you know, like that personal sort of way. So I guess, you know, for some of you, it could be someone that you partner up with in love and money. I mean, that's not out of the question. To work with the person that you're in love with. So let's clarify the options, please, for Leo, the options. What are these? What's the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit? And there's the Seven of uh, Swords again. So you've got the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles in Reverse, the Six of Wands, which is about recognition. And I feel like this was in reverse too. <coughs> I apologize. I've had the flu. 
got the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is going to be um, someone moving toward you quickly with an offer. And it's going to be a really great offer. It's going to be an offer that's hard for you to turn down because of the energy that you've been through with whatever was going on in your past or your most recent present. <coughs> I do apologize. Yeah, because you were feeling... You were feeling left out in the cold by somebody. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, let me just get a drink. So you were feeling left out in the cold. And now it's time for judgment and new beginnings. And the Six of, Wands, uh, Six of Swords, that's you moving on. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Five of Cups, again, that energy of you know, somebody, somebody really hurt you. And justice again. Somebody has really hurt you um, emotionally over the deception or the, the blockages or whatever they're causing you in your work life. And Spirit is saying that you are moving on from this. And um, I was just going to ask for a clarifier on the this Seven of Swords and the Knave of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands, but maybe not quite, maybe more of a page. It's a page of Wands. But this particular page of Wands, if you look closely, these two people have their back to each other. And this one over here has the fire. This is you. This is you looking out toward the sea, waiting for your ship to come in, turning your back to this energy that was very fiery. Very feisty. Wanted to argue. Wanted to fight. Wanted to cause turmoil. Maybe they were talking about you behind your back. They were deceptive. That's who this Seven of Swords is. This person you have your back to now. And yeah, they hurt your heart. And you've got the wheel. And again, new beginnings. I mean, you're moving on to more prosperous things. There's your Sun card. There's the King of Cups again. I, and I do feel like for a lot of you, you know, find out who these people are that you work with. Find out their zodiac signs because you got a lot of Cancerian or uh, water energy showing up in your reading so far, even in the general. And so I would like to start, you know, sniffing around and asking people, what's your sign? What's your sign? When's your birthday? Figure out who the uh, water signs are within your group. You know, that would be Cancer. Uh, Pisces and Scorpio. That's the water signs. Because you definitely, somebody that you know that's a water sign is coming in with a new offer that's going to make, <laughs> it's going to make for a perfect um, partnership and it's going to be very prosperous because of the work you do, whatever it is. God's going to bless you for it, whatever it is. Alright, I'm going to pull past life cards to look at your um, strengths that you're bringing forth from past lives into this perfect union of a job that you're uh, looking at. Or that maybe you're already in it. Maybe just some troublemaker needs to get out of the way, right? So you definitely had connections to Egypt in your past life. On in, in, uh, at some point. And so you understand the alchemical practice. This is the pyramids. The pyramids are uh, resonant chambers, you know, where they balance out your energies and you know how to use the energies to project them and the whole the whole shebang there. Um, so you definitely understand the alchemical process, whether you know that you know that or not. You've traveled a lot. So um, maybe you're in the area of transportation. Maybe that's where you're headed. Maybe you're actually going to be moving for this new job. That could also be very well what the case is. And then you have the orphan card. And I feel like this is this is saying that in your past lives that you have truly understood what it feels like to be alone. And you don't want to be alone. You want some type of a partnership. You want people to be on the same page with you. You want compatible 
co-workers, compatible employees, compatible employers, compatible everything, right? Even in your um, personal life, you want compatible people, even though this is a career reading. But um, you truly want that because you understand it from your past life. Also, you have the biblical card because honestly, guys, what's happening right now is the Great Awakening and it is going to be biblical and you are a big part of that. Whether you know that or not, whether you're ready for that or not, you are a big part of it and you're a big part of, this says monk or nun, um, you're a big part of the wisdom that will go forth into the world and be taught to the world. Communal living, farming, and spirituality and religion. All of this goes hand in hand with what I was just saying. Whatever you're headed toward, Leos, you've been prepared for this through many lifetimes. And it is going to be spiritual. And it is going to involve um, some type of communal living or teaching a new way to live. And it's going to have something to do with being in balance with nature, understanding the farming, you know, being sustainable. We had the sustainable card, right? And um, teaching a, a new perspective on religion and spirituality. All right. Let's pull the spiritual career cards and see what we've got for you there. And then we'll close this portion of the reading out and move to the love reading for Leo. Spirits, angels, and guides. Leo, Leo, your life purpose fully supports you. Keep that in mind. You will have infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose, your family, um, loving your family, loving your friends is central and uh, paramount to your life purpose. So something that you do, maybe you're going to work with family, maybe you're going to work with friends and that's where this uh, soul family energy is playing in. This is someone you already know. That is, you know, and look, there's, they're playing on a log with two children and there's an angel watching over them. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is, you know, someone you know, you know their children, you know their, their people, whether you're related to them or not. This is soul family of yours. So this is definitely someone that you already know. And it says for you to practice, polish your skills by practicing regularly through, you know, focused intent. Uh, meditation um, and then just sit back and watch how things play out watch the magic unfold around you books you connect your life purpose through your involvement with books so maybe you're going to write books maybe you're going to have something to do with writing books maybe you're going to read books to further your um, enlightenment and your spiritual growth but your life purpose involves your skills of oration you are meant to be a speaker, Leo. And who better to be a, a spokesperson than a Leo? Um, you're courageous, you're articulate, you're brave. You can stand in front of a crowd and speak and uh, not break a sweat. And a lot of us can't do that. Took me forever just to be able to do a video and nobody's even looking because I'm just not comfortable with that kind of thing. I'm in my crab shell, right? Not me. I'm a Cancerian. I, I'm not bold like that. But you, on the other hand, Leo, you you are very bold. You're um, very good in like marketing things and um, just speaking. Just speaking in general. You're very good at it. People listen to you. You say it with authority and passion, and that's important. You know, for people to listen, you have to believe what you're saying. And Leos believe what they're saying when they speak. They they say it with authority and passion. So yeah, your future path, your future career path is going to have something to do with you being a speaker and honing your own gifts. How beautiful is that? Okay, now we're going to move on to the love portion. 
And in the love portion, we're going to use the Spirit Animal Tarot, which I also don't use very often. But I decided to just do a whole new way of doing things and use some of the, all of my beautiful cards that I have that never get used. And also, by the way, um, by the end of next week, you will also have your uh, year of 2023 prediction forecasts completed and posted. And you will also have your January spiritual growth and uh, guidance reading then as well and uh, both of those were, will be probably right at an hour long well goodness gracious let's flip them over okay so you have the camel again <laughs> which in this tarot deck is the seeker of branches um, the branches are air energy right air energy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Air energy. Libra, Gemini. Is it Aquarius? I think it's Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Then you have the sea turtle. Which is the nurturer of shells. This would be the queen of hearts or the queen of cups. Ooh, I love the bottom of the deck. The bull that is the keeper of secret knowledge. Secret, sacred knowledge. Love it. Okay, so you have um, the three of feathers, which is the three of wands. The seven of Fossils, the deer, which is the seven of pentacles. This is about you uh, reaping the rewards of the seeds that you've planted, the work that you've done. The manatee is the six of shells. This is the six of cups. This is, again, that soul family, soul mate energy coming in. And this is your love reading. Then you have the bat, which is the master of suspension. You have the scarab, which is the ten of branches, which is endings and new beginnings, and the scarab, like my bug and my bracelet. The scarab is essentially the same thing as the phoenix. This is you ending things and, and rising from the ashes as a new person. Then you've got the ten of fossils. The ten of fossils is about getting that happily ever after, getting those wish fulfillments. And then you have the guardian of feathers, which is the eagle. And this is spirit's promise that you are being watched over. You do have guardian angels. You do have spirit guides. You do have the divine watching you grow, watching you level up and promising you that you're going to reap um, the rewards and the benefits of the work that you've been doing. This master of suspension is essentially the hangman in traditional tarot. And this card and the um, phoenix or the scarab together is clearly telling me that you have went inward and you're looking into who you are and, and embracing that and ready to really come out and show the world just how powerful and strong you are. That doesn't mean that you're telling them orally who you are. Though you could be, you could be telling about your journey to enlightenment. Maybe you're even writing a book about it. But maybe you're writing a book with someone else. Who knows? But um, this is definitely about you embracing all of you wholeheartedly. Your, your entire um, all-encompassing being, right? And someone that you're meeting is providing this for you. Someone that you are in... Um, partnership with in your heart is assisting you in this. Some type of soulmate or soul family that you can trust with your heart. 
Okay, so what do I want to clarify? I'm just shuffling along and don't even know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so let's just, let's clarify, let's clarify the Six of Shells. Clarify the Six of Shells. Who is this partnership for Leo, please? Who is this partnership for Leo? We got the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, this is definitely uh, that person that's offering you that option even in your career, right? So yeah, you are partnering up with someone in your career that is going to be in your personal life as well. <laughs> and uh, this Queen of Pentacles energy is saying that y'all are going to make good money from it. Y'all are going to make bank. And look, there's your Leo energy on the bottom of the deck. Confirmation. Okay, so tell me about the Guardian of Feathers. Clarify the Guardian of Feathers, please, Spirit. I mean, this may not be like a romantic love relationship, honestly, but it certainly could be for some of you. Maybe you're um, hooking up with your soulmate and you find out that they actually got a lot of money. That's okay, too. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that, right? Ten of Swords. Hmm. See, I wanted clarity on the Eagle, the Guardian of Feathers. And I'm getting this Ten of Swords energy. And I feel like, again, that this is a promise from the Divine. That all this bullshit... Like, <laughs> here's what I see in this card. Someone who ate your food, made a mess, didn't clean up the mess, didn't give a damn that they ate the food, made a mess, and didn't clean up the mess. Probably even took your scissors. Look, there's scissors. <laughs> they took your scissors. They took your candles. They took your mirror. They made a mess with your food. They don't give a damn about what they're doing. They're out here, you know, <laughs> outside the window is a man and a woman getting it on in this picture. But, I mean, this tells me, again, toxic energy. People that will stab you in the back, you know. They're good to your face. They stab you in the back. This is bad, bad energy. And you, you're holding a tissue in your hand. You're crying about it. Maybe you didn't literally cry. But your heart's sad. Your heart is definitely hurt. Over what has happened. And the way this person has disrespected you. Unappreciated you. And literally did things behind your back. And that was that Seven of Swords. Thief, liar, cheater energy that we got twice already. You just can't believe that they did this to you. But Spirit is promising you that that's coming to an end. Absolutely promising you. And the Seven of Cups is all about new choices, you know. New opportunities coming in. So this, this um, soul mate or soul family energy, however it is for you, something solid. Something that's going to be profitable to your heart expenses and to your career. You know, you've got the strength card and then you've got death. You've got death and the Six of Pentacles and the Magician. Because you're putting an end to this. And you're going to have your Ten of Wands. Your Ten of Cups. Your Ace of Wands. I mean, yeah, the, and the Lovers. I mean, this is like a perfect union. Whether this is romantic or not. Um, because not all love readings are romantic. But they certainly can be. So whether it's romantic or not. This is going to be a really beautiful union and a really beautiful offer, a really beautiful opportunity, and way better than the bullshit you've been dealt before. And I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you've put your heart out there because you are loving strong individuals. And most of you have your shit together. So, you know, you are able to offer a helping hand to people. And I feel like you've overextended your um, 
offers of help to people and they've just taken advantage of you left and right in love whether it be friendships or romantic i feel like you experienced that you know with all of the above probably even with family a lot of times you were offering your help to family and they were just kind of taking advantage of you and shitting on you and you don't understand why this keeps happening to you because you are trying to be helpful and you are trying to use your heart space and you know this bullshit just makes you want to close your heart off and be hardened by it but spirit is telling you you know don't don't change your beautiful self allow your beautiful light to continue to shine it's these other people's energy that's going to be moved out away from you because of what you deserve and yeah, so stay optimistic about your love life and that this is going to be worth waiting for. That divine timing is at work here. So trust that and move forward. Again, walking in faith, just like with the career part of the reading. Um, well, really the whole thing, even the general is about walking in faith, trusting and just believing. But walk forward uh, with a positive thought with with real true faith that you know your love of your life is coming and i really do believe that for you even if this particular energy for the next week that's coming up isn't romantic for you that this is more of a soul family type of offer that will help your heart to heal from these past things that you've experienced i feel like true love is coming in for you regardless uh, and it says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, one way or another. You, I think it was Cancer's reading that the don't beat a dead horse. Maybe it was yours. I don't know. I've done so many now. I'm getting a little confused about who got what. But, yeah, don't beat the dead horse. It's dead, done, and over with. Just trust on the split. I got house. And distant horizons. Something with your home life is changing in the matters of your heart. Yeah, because you're getting rid of this false person, whoever this bitch was. You're getting rid of that. And that could be male or female. It doesn't matter. It's just somebody wearing a mask. Somebody that was pretending to be your friend to your face and sucking your dude behind your back. Sorry about my French. That's just, you know, probably not literally, but you know what I'm saying. Like they were screwing you over behind your back and you didn't even know it. And all the while you're like feeding them and they're just making a damn mess. And yeah, on the split again, coffin, dead done over with. Don't beat the dead horse. Trust in the divine that this is all happening in divine timing. And whoever this is, is being moved out of your energy one way or another. What else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo's spirit? Again, this is something that you've put work into. You've got occupation. I really strongly feel like for a lot of you, whoever you're partnering up with, you're going to work with them. And you're going to work with them. Right? Like your home life is going to have something to do with working with them. But, but potentially even like how you all make your coins. You're going to be working with them. And you've been thinking about this. And they've been thinking about it. Like you've both been thinking about it. Right? And on the bottom of the... I mean, you can't make this shit up. Get the lovers. Perfect union. Soulmate. Soul family energy. Expectation. Official person. Courthouse. Unexpected income. Great fortune. Distant horizons. Going to take you a little bit to get there. But if you put in the hard work and you put in your full-time effort on it, 
whatever it is you're doing, you're going to be successful. Whatever it is. Because of this perfect union. So you have a lot to look forward to. Big changes coming for the week of December 18th to the 24th. Talk about good Christmas presents. And I've literally said that for Gemini and Cancer. Y'all are getting blessed for Christmas. How wonderful. Really getting blessed for Christmas. All right, what else do we have for Leo Spirit? What else do we have for Leo? In love. Give me some love for Leo. My lovely Leo's love reading. Yeah. You gift ya. This relationship is over. No second chances. You are growing and transforming your life into something better. You are healing from heartache. Freedom. Freedom is yours from toxic relationships or addiction. Yeah, this was a karmic relationship. And it's time to release it. And I feel like, here's the thing, guys. I feel like you've experienced multiple kinds of kar karmic relationships. And all of this karma debt is ending for you. Like, it's dead done over with, right? Like, I feel like for f you've had family that was karmic. You've had friends that were karmic. You've had lovers that were karmic. All for you to learn something. Right? Probably clear boundaries. Because that's what a lot of us have to learn. Is the clear boundaries and how to embrace self-love. So you've got the coffin. You've got the grim reaper. This is endings. This is fact fucking happening endings. Right? No way around it. No way around it at all. And it says for you to focus on yourself. Enjoy self-indulgence. Enjoy self-worth. It's time to heal. It's time to do the shadow work. It's time for self-appreciation. And then you have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arriving, texts, calls, emails. This, this is about that information that's coming in for you. This is that offer that's coming in. Something that's very interesting to you. Something that you really enjoy conversating about. Or someone that you enjoy conversating with, right? Yeah, it's time to get away from the narcissist. Your ships are coming in. Have faith. Keep its arrow. And the butterfly. I mean, need I say more, guys? Need I say more? I think not. I mean, this is like the bomb diggity. Because <laughs> spirit is like screaming it in every aspect of the three different layers of your reading. That you're being blessed. And all this shit is ending for you. Your karmic debt is paid. And holy crap, that's the most I've had for anybody of these hardship cards. And I guess I shouldn't have said that just yet because they weren't done. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I feel like that was very loud. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Okay, so oh, you got a lot going on here. You have eight cards, and you're in the eighth house in the eighth month. So, that's significant for you. I feel like this is very significant that you got eight cards. And look, the little white dove is right on the top. Which is also interesting because it was for uh, Cancer and Gemini both as well. This is some trippy synchronicities here. Okay, so you have my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. This is that quantum entanglement, right? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept that things, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Dead, done, over with, right? Be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities that you admire in one another are qualities that you both possess. 
Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That's where shadow work comes in. Those things about other people that we don't like, that irritate us really bad, really it's stuff inside of us that we don't fucking like about ourselves. And so that's why it irritates you so bad. To get you to look at why it irritates you and understand that you actually do some of that shit yourself. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. See? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other their own space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. I like that. And look, I just want to show you some of these pretty images on these cards. You have really beautiful graphics. Really beautiful imagery. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this. Just believe. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Manifesting miracles. Synchronicity, anyone? Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. I don't know if you can see all of those beautiful symbols on that tree. I love these cards. Trust. Transform, or excuse me, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Trust and have faith. And what's the stuff say? You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events that play out in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that that's what the dub symbolized. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay. So now I'm going to pull some 111 cards for you. And then we're going to close this out. Learn something new. Can't read that one. It's upside down. Oh. Whoa. You are your own judgment you are your own judgment day the bond that links you and your true family is not necessarily one of blood but of respect and joy in each other's life that's so very true never choose to give up and yes that is a choice what the caterpillar sees as the end is what source calls a butterfly don't turn around from possible possible futures without first exploring what is there to be learned or gained from. You always have the ability to make your wishes come true. Open your third eye. Find something new. Mind over matter. Shit. Remain focused, not overwhelmed. And Leo clear your head rest you need rest clear your head meditate breathe take a moment get, get ready for your reprieve because it's coming honey it's coming all for you all right leo if you enjoyed this video and this intuitive tarot reading i would appreciate very greatly for you to hit that like button. If you are not already a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I am done with my plug because I don't like doing that kind of thing. I will see you again very soon for your monthly on your spiritual growth and guidance and your yearly intuitive forecasts. Until then, be well and be blessed.